guys welcome back to my youtube channel today i'm going to show you how to sublimate these these is air fresheners i just got it today from amazon i will put the link down in the description if you would like to order them these 50 pieces you can see it there's 50 pieces for like 24 dollars wasn't bad Okay, so first I'm gonna pull up Cricut Design Space. Okay, I'm going to go to Valentine Images and I'm just going to find me something to put on this. air freshener. Okay, I got a ruler right here. And in this bag, it comes with some little baggies. I also have the airplane. And I also have the hook to come to it. square because that's going to be my template I'm going to use so I'm going to add my photo to whatever I want to put on there Okay, then I'm just going to go to 
see if y'all missed that part. We had to download the image and open up file. And once we open up file, it should pull up the image right here. It's taking a long time. But while that's doing that, I'm going to make a thing so I can lay it on so I won't get none of the ink on there or nowhere. I'll just make a line. It's not perfect, but we all know what I'm trying to do. Okay. Okay, once the image come up, we're going to save it on our computer again. Okay, we're going to save the image as Valentine background. Then once that's downloaded, we're going to go back to Cricut Design Space. Because now we have the image now. So, we're going to go to Upload. Once you click on Upload, we're going to go to Upload Image. Then we're going to go to Browse. Okay, it's right there at the top because that's the one we downloaded today. So, it was pretty easy for us to find. And then we're going to click on Complex. Because if you click on any of the other ones, it's not going to show right. See, it's kind of blurry and simple. It's like Oreo bad to me. So, we're going to go to that one because that one shows clear for us. So since we're just going to do a print, we're going to press continue. We don't have to clean it up on anything. And we're going to press save. Okay, once it's on that, then we're going to click on the image we want. Insert image. Okay, so this is the image. So we're going to size this image the size of this one so it's 2.9 and 3.4 two 2.9 and 3.4 and then we're going to lock it then we're going to take it and we're going to bring it over here and if it so once we got that all settled, because we don't want that. So we're going to hide that. Then we're going to press make it.
they call me I promise that you'll never be lonely